Okay, let's have a look at Twitter. So Twitter is a micro blogging application where users post tweets. This is a lot different from Facebook and Instagram which we looked at because um, they are very much uh, photo based and especially Instagram is very visual, right? We've talked about that. Whereas Twitter, the micro blogging is basically keeping people updated about what's going on in your life or if you're a business, what's going on within your business. So originally, Twitter had a 140 character limit. So when you tweeted things out, you couldn't write a long you know, blog post about you know, your new product updates and that sort of stuff. It was like short and sweet. And the beautiful thing about that is uh, when people were on Twitter, um, it was uh, micro doses about what's going on in the world, right? So rather than reading heaps and heaps of stuff, you just scroll through and see you know, what, what, what's going on. Um, now, this was changed to a 240 limit in 2017. Um, there was quite a strong call for people from, from the user base to increase the limit because I wanted to get into more depth. Um, and then they eventually decided, yep, all right, let's do it. Uh, so it's a bit controversial. But Twitter has over 500 million active users, so it's quite large. Uh, in 2022, so last year, Elon Musk acquired Twitter for $44 billion. And since he's bought it, um, there's made some very large scale changes. Um, effectively, they got rid of 80% of their staff. So they've cut down the size of Twitter um, and there's a lot less moderation that happens on Twitter. And part of the reason why he bought it was because uh, Twitter was heavily into moderation, what they thought was appropriate to be on social media and what wasn't. Um, and then, you know, a lot of people were saying, well, hang on, is it really Twitter's role or social media in general to be uh, moderating content and deciding what we see. So um, the whole new approach to Twitter is, is less moderation, but more um, kind of techie features in there as well. All right, so each, so when we use Twitter, each Twitter account is identified by a handle, which begins with the at symbol. Uh, there is no distinction between personal or business accounts within the network. So. If you sign up as Kevin Swartz, then that, that's your account. If you want to have a business account, then you'll sign up as a, as a separate user. Right? Uh, Twitter created the use of hashtags. This was quite new. Like now everyone's sort of used to hashtags. But when they did it, was, it, was, it was cool. It was a new thing. Um, and it was quite innovative. Uh, and the idea of the hashtags is that they could group these topics of tweaks together. So um, a famous one was the Me Too thing. So this is, this is obviously not on Twitter, but um, it, uh, that, that topic, if you wanted to work out what's going on, you could search for the hashtag Me Too campaign. You could see everyone that doing posts, well not everyone, but you know, see posts that people were posting using that hashtag. So it was a, it was a unique way of grouping um, content together. So it makes it a lot easier to find topics of interest, but hashtags can be spammed or misused, right? So everyone that's on there can use that hashtag. So, um, and there's no, there's nothing really there to penalize you from using hashtags that aren't relevant to what you're using. So what people were doing, is they'd just say, oh, the Me Too hashtag is trending and I wanna sell, I don't know, this new pen. I'm gonna go, buy my new red pen, hashtag Me Too, which has got no relevance to it whatsoever. Um, but people were just trying to hashtag into to, to trending things. Uh, so it can get misused. Uh, and other things is like, um, if you are doing advertising, like a, a, a marketing campaign on Twitter and you develop your own hashtag, you don't own the exclusive rights to using that hashtag. So uh, your competitors can use it too. So if I say, you know, like McDonald's, I go hashtag Big Mac, um, there's nothing stopping um, Mac, uh, Hungry Jack saying the burgers are better at Hungry Jack's hashtag Big Mac or customers that were like, I bought my Big Mac and it's got no meat on there, hashtag Big Mac. So uh, there's, 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 there's no control and it's kind of cool. It's grouping these content things together, but um, there's no control for business. To contr there's no way for business to control what's going on within that content. So it can get misused and it can backfire as well, which has done, what's happened in the past quite classically where businesses have tried to develop a cool marketing campaign with these cool hashtags to bring things together and it's just been sort of taken over by an angry set of users. Um, all right, Twitter. The most common adverts in Twitter are promoted tweets. Uh, digital marketers can also pay for promoted accounts and promoted trends. 
Now I've got an example here, so this is HPE uh, GreenLake and you can like it looks much the same as all the other content that you're scrolling through except for this one here it's just got that little thing at the bottom there that says promoted by HPE so I'll put that red um, circle in there to sort of highlight that um, I was talking before about the um, circles things like the, the at symbols so this one here at SpaceX that's their accounts that's been tagged in there and then the Elon Musk one is at Elon Musk and since um, you know Elon Musk has bought it you seem to be getting a lot of a lot of his tweets. Right, um, the payment type for Twitter can be uh, CPM, CPC or CPA and that depends largely on the objective selected for the ad. So when you pay to promote a tweet it comes well what it's got this little um, menu here it goes what's your objective and you can choose I want to increase the reach of my you know what I'm promoting I want to increase engagement to get more people to share it like it tweet and um, talk about it um, and that's a quite a unique thing with Twitter is that they um, it's very conversational so like Instagram you might get comments and stuff like that going on um, and people will post it and even now you can reply to other people's things but it's not like there's full-on big discussions going on there with um, Twitter man people get into these really long um, discussions basically or arguments or you know like someone posts something and then someone replies to it another person replies so there, there can be a lot of tweets um, responding to an original tweet right so engagement can be very conversational um, uh, the followers get more people following your account website traffic so you take them off Twitter into your website uh, and then uh, keywords so rich users with the um, high intent now that's that's a newish thing so um, that is Twitter so I will pause it there and we will then look at LinkedIn.